everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I have been struggling with acne for the last couple of years now. I generally get it in my chin area. It kind of comes and goes, but I'm fed up with it. I finally went to Bill the other day and said, I have to figure out what I can do differently that may help get rid of this acne and keep it away for good. So as soon as I went to Bill, he said, let's go online, let's see what we can find. And that's exactly what we did. So I'm gonna share with you the things that I've found that I'm gonna try, and then I'll let you know in a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, how it's going. Let's get started. The first thing that I learned is that you need a product with benzoyl peroxide. I'm going back to the standard Clearasil. It has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it. The only problem with benzoyl peroxide is, first of all, it bleaches your clothes, towels, things like that, so you have to be very careful with it. Secondly, no, it vers no Versace. No Versace. Where are you wearing Clearasil? Clearasil. <laughs> None. <laughs> and it really dries out your skin. So you have to be very careful when you're first starting to use this. You should only use it one time a day. Allow your skin to start getting used to it. And then if you need it a little more often, you can use it two to three times a day. So I'm only using it at night right now, one time a day until my skin gets used to it. So to help now with the dry skin and the flakiness and things like that, I have gone to Clinique and I have got this liquid facial soap. It is mild and it is fragrance free. You want to make sure that anything you get is fragrance free because the fragrance in products can irritate your skin further. I like this one because it's really, really gentle, removes my makeup well, and that's the other thing. You have to make sure you wash morning and night, nighttime especially, to remove all of your makeup so that you don't have any makeup left on your skin, but you don't want to overwash, so two times a day is plenty. Then I bought the Clinique Moisture Surge. It's 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. But the thing that's great about this is it's water-based and it's fragrance free. Both of which are great for your skin and will help to not clog your pores. These are, all of these have been tested and they're made very carefully so that they won't clog your pores because that's the other thing you wanna make sure. Anything you're putting on your skin right now does not clog pores. I also bought new makeup. I went uh, and bought this at Clinique as well. And I bought an, it's called Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum, evens and corrects. I wanted a full coverage makeup because I wanted it to help cover up some of my blemishes while I'm still going through the healing process. But I also wanted something that isn't going to make my acne worse because that's one of the things that I've found. I switch my products around a lot because I love makeup and I like to try new things. So I try different types of makeup all the time and I actually think that has been a problem as well. Not cleaning my skin properly and then also using makeup that clogs pores. This makeup will not clog pores. I bought Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation and Concealer in One. This is a powder that I will put on after my foundation. Same thing won't clog pores, is much better for your skin, but it's also a full coverage product. One of the things that I just learned in my research though, that really I think may have contributed to some of my skin problems, is I use a washcloth over and over again. I get up in the morning, I take a shower, wash my face in the shower, hang my washcloth to dry, use it again that night, the next morning I use it over and over again. I have found that or learned that washcloths hanging like that, they hold bacteria and you don't want any bacteria near your skin when you're trying to clear up your acne because when bacteria gets on your skin, it create, can create acne, which then can turn into infections and that's where you have a problem. So I have gone out and bought two packs of dishcloths, nine in a pack. I probably didn't need quite this many, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty on hand at all times so that I can use a clean washcloth in the morning, a clean washcloth at night, and I have enough for at least one week. The other thing, pillowcases. 
I have gone out and bought enough pillowcases so that I have one pillowcase clean every night because as you lay your head down on your pillow, sometimes at night you sweat and you, your face going back and forth, especially me because I like to lay on my side and I really like to get cozy into my pillow with my face to be comfortable to sleep. That is a problem if your pillowcase is holding bacteria and then you're sleeping with your face on this bacteria ridden pillowcase all night long. Generally, we wash our sheets, Bill washes our sheets usually at least once a week, which is wonderful, but for me, that's not enough, so I'm gonna have a clean pillowcase every day. I'd like to add that we wear our clothes for eight hours generally in a day, and then we change them. We don't wear the same clothes over and over, day after day after day, without washing them and cleaning them. So why wouldn't you do the same thing with your pillowcase, especially so that you have a clean environment for your face every night, a clean pillowcase will do that. Just like you do with your clothes, it's easy. And the last thing, as far as putting on my makeup is concerned, I've gone out and bought a bunch of new wedges. I will use and wash my sponges over and over again, which is fine, the problem is sometimes they can hold bacteria as well, especially if they're wet and sitting out and drying. Um, I know a lot of people do that, but for me, because I'm trying to clean up my acne, I wanna make sure that anything I use doesn't have any type of bacteria. So I'm gonna use a new sponge every time I do my makeup. I'm hopeful that all of the things that I have learned in my research, all the things that I've bought are going to help. I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna be very, very careful never to touch my face as well because my hands have bacteria. You have to keep everything away from your chin or wherever your, back, wherever your acne is. Nothing should be touching your face ever. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something. I'll be back in a while, couple of weeks, couple of months, depending on how it goes with an update for you to let you know how it all worked for me. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.